Welcome to a Is it Murkide video? Actually, let's do it again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday Murktide on YouTube. Friday on stream. We are playing once again Ledger Shredder. This time I decided to innovate the deck a lot. We're gonna see if my changes are uh, just better than the regular version or if there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, what's the reinventing that I'm talking about? I cut consider. There is no more consider, the one mana cantrip that we used to play in this deck. I cut it, I decided that with Ledger Shredder, you don't need to uh, play, I mean, like, obviously you need to play cantrip, cantrips are like not bad in magic, but the problem is that uh, this card, if you just cast a two and a one drop, or a one drop and a zero drop or whatever, it draws in this card. So that's basically just attaching card quality to every card in your deck if you play with Ledger Shredder. So I figured that while Consider raises the number of uh, um, you know ways to enable Ledger Shredder, you are just adding more air to your deck. I added a land, so I have now 20 lands. Again, in a deck that loots, you don't mind playing extra lands, whereas in a deck with cantrips, you can cut lands because cantrips uh, will give you that. So uh, I make I made this change. It could be good. It could be bad. Uh, I also cut down on Merkta Regent. The reason being, uh, uh, well, you can't just simply play sixteen threats, and I didn't want to cut any Ragavan or Chandler, and uh, you just play Merktide with back backed up by counter, so you don't need to jam them as early as you were doing before. I'm playing one license hers. I think it's a very good card. And three charm, especially now that I added more lands in the cyber. I still want to one blood moon. It might not be very well positioned, but I think it's it's fine. The rest of the cyber is still up in the air. Every slot could be discussed and agreed. There isn't uh, a. I'm trained the earth in the main deck. Yeah. I mean, with Ledger Shredder now, you have a lot of cheap creatures that can crew it pretty easily. This card can easily be a 6-6, six, six. like you cast it, it's a 2-2, two, two. the turn after it's a 4-4, four, four. the turn after you can already... Uh, plus, like, it blocks as a large creature, it attacks Planeswalker, it survives Wrath of God. I like I like this card. You have Ragavan, that, a Ragavan and Shredder that uh, turn it on pretty easily, and sometimes even Chandler, most of the times I guess even Chandler, plus it's an artifact. To discard to your shredder looking for the third type the fourth type again cutting down on consider will uh radically decrease your uh, number of um uh, instants but still again uh i'm just trying things out uh, this is my first league it's just uh, i don't i don't know i i'm playing some vintage these days and in Vintage, oftentimes you just cut down on Preordain for adding more expensive cards because most of the cards, sorry, expensive card that can trips like I don't know, Dark Faded or um, stuff like that. Because these these expensive cards, like again, Ledger Shredder, are attached with some card quality to it, which is what cantrips are. Because what is a cantrip? A cantrip is. Uh, um, a cantrip is a way you are exchanging a card for a card, but um, I'm exchanging a card for a card with a cantrip, but I am raising the quality of that card, okay? You're trying to think about Serum Visions over Consider, yeah? Serum Visions over Consider could be, I mean, uh, the reason why people play Consider is that I feel the greater for Merktide very easily and helped you with uh, uh, Delirium for Dragon's Ray Channeler. With Shredder, you're getting Delirium a little bit easier, I think, because you just discard the card that you need for uh, for the, the missing piece for Delirium. And I cut down on Murktide, so I don't think you need as much. Again, it's just theory, it's just in my head, so. Good morning, Kazoro. Very good end. You hold the bubble for Shredder. Florent Nguyen with the sixth month. Hello, Florent. How's it going? Thank you. Thank you for the six months. 
sub. Okay, now I could. I think I'm gonna keep lightning bolt for uh, play against affinity. This is not hammer, so I could just use a bolt, and no one will be upset probably. Especially since I have two. I think I'm going to. This takes down a little bit of uh, affinity. Hmm, cranial plating. And another Memonite. Oh, wow. They have only one card in end. I guess my Shredder would have been nice on the play. <laughs> <laughs> this is very hard now because basically I need to bolt everything every single card I equip I think I'm gonna start with shredder bubble discard what do I want to discard I can discard this I'll get delirium that way I guess I can discard this later. I don't need to discard it now. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll pass. Oh, wow. Relic of Progenitus. So my channeler is going to be weaker now. And remember, when you think about whether to discard a land or a spell, the plus one plus one counter shouldn't really be a factor. Like, obviously it is a factor, but it's not going to be relevant most of the times, okay? I actually wrote a deep dive article on Leisure Shredder for Channel Farvel. Funnily enough. This is so deep. This card is so deep. I draw two cards here. Okay. Uh, having Ragavan is nice because I didn't really have a way to. I didn't really have uh, a way to use my island, so I'm happy to have drawn Ragavan here. I'm only attacking with it because I need uh, the Shredder uh, back to block. Happy to trade here. I'm gonna loot. Okay, interesting, another bubble. I think I'm discarding the Dragon's Ray Channeler at the moment. I might regret it. Gonna shock and pass. I don't wanna play a second bubble because I've already uh, played two spells and I'm gonna keep both for my opponent's turn. The, the affinity matchup is hard, it's very hard. It's possible that you should just play Arcus Recall in this deck sideboard. Is there a way you play Darcy to block the Memnites? You mean on turn one? Mm, I felt that uh, uh, taking off um, uh, Affinity was more important. They have cards like Frogmite, Mirror Enforcer. Okay, looks like they're moving Memnite over there. Interesting. Going to block and bolt. There's no reason for why I did it. I just I just did it. They have one card in end. Now I'm gonna crack the bubble. There's a saga, yeah. Yeah, it's very very hard to, to beat that deck. Main deck. Honestly, Merktide, one of the so such big weakness is that um and he just loses to this card. I guess you need Murktai Regent. Thank you, Crypt Click. Appreciate it. 
<laughs> there it is, Mercury Regent. <laughs> a little bit late to the party, huh? Okay, so I could uh, dash Ragavan. No, nah, I think I need to rebuild Graveyard right now. I think I'm gonna go and bottom exile. This is why I held on bubble because I might have found this first. I play bubble. Huh. Lightning bolt is not bad. I'll leave it on top. I'm gonna draw bubble. I'm gonna draw bolt in my opponent's turn here. Nah, I'm not gonna attack. They have a Thopter over there. So they draw the island. Sorry, I think I'm actually playing Bolt. I know they have an island on top. So no reason to make them hold the mana. I have Delirium already. What's the best way to get Ultimate Guard product in Italy? They have a website, uh, PDSMTG. Go to the Ultimate Guard website. They ship directly to... to... Europe. And if you purchased before the 10th of May, you could have had a 10% discount with my code. Okay. So they can make a, a blocker. Actually, we might win this game, funnily enough. We might actually win this game, funnily enough. Alright, let's begin by attacking with our flyers. And then I can play Shredder plus Merc Tide and double loot. I attack first because I'll lose Delirium, but then I'll get Delirium easily next turn. The Shredder just makes you have Delirium very consistently. This is why... I mean, this game is kind of a reason why I cut Consider. Just imagine... You know, with the cons I mean, obviously, consider it's not a bad card, but um, having uh, uh, shredders means that you like go through your deck without needing to actually play cantrips. I mean, every every time, every turn since turn two, I double spelled. Every turn since turn two, I double spelled, and uh, I keep on double spelling, and it's never going to stop because you select your cards to double spell. It's not that you got lucky that you double spelled, you know, like you build your deck and you have expressive iteration in Mishra's bubble. And now I, I, ideally I keep a relevant card in my hand. I, I, they, they go for um, Shadow Spear right now, so I'll probably lose. I guess I punted this, this turn. I don't know why I didn't think about Shadow Spear. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably over. What I should have done, okay, granted I didn't get there, but what I should have done was uh, just Ledger Shredder Ragavan to double loot finding a Noli Heat. I didn't even count. Yeah, I'm dead to Shadow Spear. My bad. I apologize. Is this build your idea? I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> my, my mom passed me the concept that uh, ideas don't really belong to anyone. Especially in the world of internet, you, you borrow them and... I am a big fan of uh, saying this decklist comes from X, but the idea is just a general concept. Again, it's mostly what happens in Vintage when you cut Preordain for other cards. It's just the deck building of magic. Are there any legacy video monorail store made by you? There is. There is a very, very easy way to figure it out. You go to YouTube and you write Mono Red Storm Andrea Mengucci Channel Fireball. Yes, Monored Storm a year ago, Monored Storm three years ago, Monored Moon a year ago, Mono Black Storm a year ago, 30k views, Dio caro. Yeah, yeah, there is, there is, there is. 
E va bene, I'm dead. Alright, GG. Ok, uh, Dress Down is coming in. Uh, Blood Moon, I like it on the play. Uh, Counter Spell is also pretty bad. A Licensed Hurts is pretty bad. Maybe I should just uh, not bring in Blood Moon and have three charms. Charms isn't that bad if you think about it. I don't like subtlety. I like spell peers. Let's go. I mean, I've made a lot of content about affinity. You know that um, it is a very good matchup against Merc Tide. Things that might help the matchup. Um, honestly, game one you're just very cold to Urza Saga, and unless you put dra dress down in your main deck and you draw it, it's going to be pretty impossible to win. But post sideboard, you have uh, explosives, fury, dress down. That's a lot of cards. I believe that if you're sixty cards has Blood Moon and Archmage Charm, at the same time, you're making a mistake. You're making a mistake either in deck building or in sideboarding. Uh, what are the cases in which I can't tolerate that? Against Amulet Titan, I think I can tolerate that, because you need counters and you need Blood Moon. And if you have Blood Moon, they can't win the game. So they will likely just possess you the Blood Moon, and then you have your Charm alive. So that's a case I can tolerate. But other than that, uh, maybe Tron is similar. Perfect. Another another hand where I have Shredder plus Bubble. I'm gonna go Steam Vents Untapped. Pass. Obviously it's written on my forehead that I have a Anoi Heath or Bolt. But I guess some people also play Consider, so I could have that one, but it's not it's not this case. You want to play Ancient Grudge in Merc Tide? You could, you could do that, yeah, for sure. You also self mill a lot, so having a card with uh, flashback, it's really nice. Uh, what would you cut? The explosives? Uh, I definitely don't want to cut Dress Down. That card is just too versatile. Explosives is for rhinos mostly. Mm. And I'm going to annually hit any zero mana card. What about Floss and Storm? Well, <laughs> you can't have Floss of or Ancient Grudge. It's for different matchups. The cyber isn't just a collection of 15 cards that you like, it's cards for specific matchups. Okay, they don't play any zero mana card, uh, reasonable. Maybe they don't have it. Let's go Shredder Bubble, such a strong curve. And I'm about to discard an only heat. This card is also very good against Affinity, I remember in Historic when I was playing Affinity. What? Chalice of the Void, are you crazy? <laughs> okay, they have Mem Knight. They didn't play because they had a Noli Heat up. Unfortunately, they also have Urza Saga, which is a problem. It's not bad. 
Well, I want to discard Anoli. Hmm. Because I'm gonna go. Ch I guess they can't regenerate. Yeah. I'm gonna wait my opponent to make tokens before I land an explosives. See, post cyborg, you have a billion ways of uh, dealing with um, the things. Okay, uh, do I want to play expressive iteration? The fact my opponent has Chalice of the Void makes it a little bit clunky in the sense that. Um, nah, I guess it's fine. I am just going to pick up a land with that and then I'll play an explosives on zero. Or I can just draw two cards with Archmage's Charm. That's also reasonable, yeah. Remember, Spell Pierce is countered by this Chalice. I've never seen Chalice in Affinity against Merktide before. And again, with Shredder and less consider, you're dodging Chalice because you discard the one drops and uh, you just don't have consider. Hello, Tuk Tuker. Okay, my opponent goes Citadel and passes the turn. I'm just drawing two cards with Charm. I don't bother stealing a Weldon Jar so that my explosives can kill these two cards. I'd rather just get Rock Hard Advantage with Archmage's Charm here. Because I need the fourth land. And I want my deck to be smooth here. Smooth. Uh, that's fine. I think I want to go... Uh, I don't want to go expressive iteration. I think I'm gonna go do the following. I go land, attack, explosives on zero. They can get Pithing Needle with the Saga, so we have to think about that. I'm gonna keep this low end. Well, this end likely works in game one, like they can win the game in game one. Post Cyber, when I have a lot of answers to the constructs, it's gonna be less impactful because I actually can kill the constructs. Game one, I would have stone died to this. I, if I didn't hand what, like two counter spell, there's no way I can, I can beat what they have going. Anyway, uh, in their upkeep, in their upkeep, I'm going to crack the explosives because uh, this way, because this way, if they want to regenerate, they're going to, um, if they want to regenerate, they're going to. Okay, so my opponent passed me priority. This is very interesting. Because it means they're not floating mana, they're not making a token. If they get Pithing Needle, how bad it is. Hmm. I think I'm fine in cracking the explosives here. They regenerate the construct, and as I told you, this way the construct is stopped. You know, they make another construct. But as they make another construct, I think I'm going to go dress down so that uh, I kill your constructs and draw and, and loot because this is my second. Never mind, it's not my second spell. It's fine, I'm still doing this. And again, the, the si si sideboard uh, games, it's very important in Magic. And um, yeah, we won because of our cyber cards. Have I looked at the food deck by Ledger Shredder? Yes, Doctor. You can go to my YouTube channel. And uh, I posted a video about this deck uh, yesterday. Infinite turns in modern exclamation mark. There's also a clip that lasts two minutes where I go off with the time sieve. That's pretty fun. Okay, so what's happening? They just picked up a Shadow Spear and played a top lane. Okay, cool. I draw Marky Boy. And now I just ride this game to victory. I play Island. I play Murky Boy. I delve spell, spell, spell. Artifact land.
what to build it in paper. Funnily enough, I have built it in paper yesterday. I'm only missing uh, the Oval Chase Daredevil. You play Gracie Shedder with Croxa. Sure. Yeah. It's a good deck, for sure. There's plenty of good decks there. Okay, Relic of Progenitus. That's the second spell, so I loot. A bust opponent. It's over. Chalice of the Void. I'm gonna love this chalices. Should I take out some lightning bolts? Maybe. Should I take out some lightning bolts? It looks kind of crazy though. But they have these two Chalice of the Voids. I mean, I look at my sideboard and I see only bad cards. Mm, I don't want to play Chalice of the Void. You went four row with Esper. That's sweet. That's sweet. Yesterday I played a pauper tournament. I went 3-1 with uh, Red Green Ponza. That's cool. What makes Ledger Shredder powerful? Uh, the cheaper your mana curve is, the more powerful is Ledger Shredder. In Pioneer, I think it's where this card gives its best. Because somehow, in Pioneer, as a wi the wildest ban list you can ever imagine, Treasure Cruise is legal. So, and this card is exactly what that deck needs. But it's not that Treasure Cruise is legal, so the format is unbalanced. The format is somehow balanced because a billion of unfair cards are legal. It's it's crazy. It's it's really crazy format. In Historic, this card is also strong, but I think Historic, uh, it's, it's, again, it's balanced as well because, uh, yeah, a bunch of cards are like the, 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 In modern, it's starting to pop up. I think I think this card is gonna be as as here to stay. I think this card is here to stay. And it's only like fifteen euro right now. I think if you play uh, this deck in paper, you should definitely get this card. In Legacy, mm, I think in Legacy it's too weak. All right, we have once again a billion answer to Urza Saga. And, uh, yeah. Also, funnily enough, I always had Shredder plus Bubble. That's like very lucky. I think I'm firing off a bubble now, though. Because I already have a, a one for the next turn. If I didn't have it, I would have kept it, of course. Ooh, Lightning Bolt. I don't mind drawing it, just in case my opponent has a creature. Of course, if they go Chalice on one, that's fine. I have explosives. I, I know they did well in Jar. Okay, here's a sec again, but again, post sideboard, that card is kept in check. That's why best of three is the best magic. Ooh, okay, so you go for Chalice of the Void. Do I want to bolt face? No, no, it's okay. And again, Ledger Shredder lets you discard the one drops of Chalice. It's just so good. All right, let's go. Shredder, Bubble. I've done this play every single game of this league. Of this. Okay, what do I discard though? Hmm. I think I want to discard more Shredders. I need to double spell next turn. Uh, sorry, I need to heal land drop next turn. Uh, okay, I pass. 
I could have gone, I guess, next turn Shredder plus Explosives, but my opponent can easily name Pithing Needle with the Saga, so if I play Explosives, I have to crack it the same turn. Mm, wow, they don't have a... <laughs> they don't have a land to make a Kasaga Construct. Man, it's just so sad, but my opponent side in Shadows of the Void and counter their own spell is just... I actually feel bad. I don't feel bad very often for my opponents, but when this play happens, I feel bad. Alright, I draw another Bolt and a Steam Vents. Very nice that I got there with my land. Now, eh, what do I want to do? My Honestly, I don't mind just going top land pass here and go dress down in my opponent's end step. Or rather, second main, whatever it is. Mm, what if I go instead? Uh, explosives as on zero. Uh, top lane go. Thank you to Turtle Brisket. Turtle Brisket. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll go explosives on zero. Uh, so that if they make a construct, I am getting a two for one out of it. Because they have Welding Jar and Chalice and the Construct. If they don't do anything, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm. So they make a, a Construct, looks like. So I let them make Construct, and before they go get the card, I, I will sacrifice the Explosives. And now they can, they have to choose with the Welding Jar, either Chalice of the Void or Construct. And even if they choose Chalice, okay, they chose Construct. Reasonable. They also tap it for mana. Okay, what do you get? They have three cards in end. Now the Construct is going to be still very large, but we have a sideboard for it. They get Relic of Progenitus. Okay. So my Merktide Regent is going to be slowed down here, but that's fine. Hmm. Thoughtcast. Ornithopter lets me loot. Uh, what do I want to keep here? Hmm. I want to keep this land. I don't mind slowly making building a, a land base here. It's an eight eight construct, and they crack the relic. Okay. Draw. This game isn't over by any meanings. I think what I do here is top land go. I can grow this shredder to a 4-6 and block the mirror enforcer next turn because I can play two spells and discard a spell to it. And then I can play Fury Agent after. Yeah, this is very good. This is the way they can they can beat me here. Also I keep dress down up because of um, the 2-2 two, two, that draws two cards and comes into play. If you play this in response, they don't draw two cards. Is that kind of play team? Charlie's on one. Mm. So I could cast this Lightning Bolt. On the, on the Ornithopter is just so sad. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'd rather keep the bolt to, to discard it for Ledger Shredder. Yeah, I have to hope they don't have Metallic Rebuke. Nice. A 
Very good. Mishra's Bubble will let me once again loot. Discarding this zero mana card. Sorry, this one mana card. I'll play Fury, loot, kill, creature. Uh, I think I want to bubble you. I want to see what's on top of your deck. Tot Monitor. Oh, Kaboya. Yeah. That's really good. Hmm. Well, I want to start a race here. I think so. I think I need to start a race against the Tot Monitor. Okay. Iteration will help me. Uh, oh, Iteration, Merc Titan, and Loot. Yeah, that was a very good draw. Thought to monitor. Hopefully they don't storm now. Sojourner's Companion. Okay. I'm trading. They have one card in end. Draw. Look at this. 6-8. Okay. Let's go... Uh, first, I want to go bubble. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I can't cast channeler. Yeah, let's go bubble and then iteration. So before deciding on the iteration, I get to get more information about my hand. Okay. Okay. I can go... Hand, bottom, exile. I have a 7-9. I am going to attack with a 7-9, and then I cast Double Merc Tide Regent. The performance by Ledger Shredder in this game was outstanding. Outstanding. He looted so often, both in my and my opponent's turn. It is incredibly large. It made so that I could loot away the one drop that they chaliced me. It's just unbelievable how strong this card was in this game. Maybe Merc that would have also been good, but so, so, so good. Okay, so they have a Thought Cast on top. What I do here is, how many instants I have? One, two, three. Okay, so first I have to, and now I'm going to go double Merc. So first I'll go Merc Tide, delve away the non, uh, the non-enchantment cards. So like all the the awkward cards and then with the second one I'm gonna uh, exile the instant so I pump both of my both of my merc tides okay and I pass I keep the explosives for the next turn now at 266 instead of again this is a one drop but opponents play put in a thought cast on top so gonna put thought cast they're gonna probably play a second spell and then I loot again Shadow Spear, ma no, opponent, ma porca merda, ma che cazzo fai? Vabbè, GG. It's okay, I mean, obviously there was a punt, blah blah blah, okay, outside of that, um, the per it was very good. Was very good and it's important to understand when when a card feels good and when it's clunky. First game I didn't misconsider. Let's see how it continues. And the great thing of magic to me, I mean, I guess as a content creator and not as a person that it has to spend money every time to buy a new deck, is that they just print the standard set that just has cards that impact all the formats. It's so nice to have cards that impact all the formats. Okay, second match. Yes, let's go. Super bad end. Mulligan. We play 20 lands, eh, of course. The difference between 20 and 19, it's marginal, but it's kind of funny. Maybe if that hand had, had a consider, I would have mulligan less. Mm. 
トゥトゥルルトゥトゥルトゥトゥルルトゥルルトゥトゥトゥトゥルルトゥルルトゥトゥトゥルルトゥルルトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥけまどんな、ポカメーダー、けかつえ。I opened one land in 21 cards. Think of any of this new charm or good for modern. Yesterday I made a video in Jund with r i v e t i a s charm. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's go. Yes, I make a blue red merc type video every Friday. It goes every Sunday on YouTube. You can go to my YouTube channel and、uh, find an Is It Merc Kite compilation. I've been playing the deck weekly since three, four months, five, six maybe. Is It Merc Kite compilation you'll find. Okay, they suspended a footfalls. Let's go, Ragaban. Ragaban, Raga, Ragaban, Ragaban. Ooh, Charlotte's agent. All right, let's cascade. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't cascade into a counter spell. Not yet. Let's cascade into something good. Like, I need it. Let's focus. What do I need? A Ledger Shredder. Go. Anoli Heat! No! Okay, I'll pass. You think this net needs, needs more lands? More than 20 lands? What modern decks are you playing in paper right now? That's a good question. I don't really play paper modern, but I have built. A blue black Asmo deck, this deck, and four color Vivian just yesterday. Because next week is the Four Seasons tournament, I want to have all the decks built just in case、uh, I have to land them out or stuff like that. You tap my Ragaban. Okay. Draw. Hmm. Shredder needs f u e l e s land, I think. I think you're wrong. Shredder needs more lands, I think, personally. With loot effect, you play more lands. With can trips, you play less lands. What's for lunch today? Oh, actually, today I have a great lunch planned. I'm gonna go to uh, my uh, favorite fish food restaurant with、uh, Gira One, you know, the LGS owner that is passing by. Also, my girlfriend is coming. And another friend, so we're having a nice lunch. We're gonna eat some mussel. In Italian, we call them cozze alla rabbiata, mussel. And then we're gonna get some first course. It's probably going to be. Vabbè, dai. No, I don't consider still a v i t e r a t i o n I still have iteration in my deck. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, my creatures. These were my two creatures in my Mulligan 2 4. Or Shredder and Ragaban. I don't fetch here. Play around Spell Pierce, maybe. What's my opinion about Tainted Indulgence?、Mm. <laughs> It's not a very good card, but、uh, you can play it. The thing is that my mindset, whenever it comes to modern, 
is uh, just very competitive. So, yeah. Okay, playing against rhinos. I'll bring these. I'll bring these. I'll take out once again the licensed hearse. Uh, what else do I take out? Certainly not the charms. I can take out some lining bolts. What about the mystical dispute? Maybe I can have one for a bolt. What about an holy heat? Because they have endurance. So maybe an holy heat is a little bit clunky. Maybe maybe mystical dispute is better. Counters their counters. You want Void Mirror as a cyber card. You could, yeah. I think Chalice of the Void is better on zero. Because Void Mirror costs two mana. I, mean, I don't have to explain the differences in zero and two mana, but they do a very similar job, but one is free and the other costs two mana. I think I go Channeler turn one. Turn two, I can go Shredder plus Explosives and Loot. What's the added value of islands being snow? It's so marginal that it's not even not even worth to bother. If you have nice little pretty basics that you like, just play them. Hello, Bus and Jay. Thank you, thank you. Wow, look at this. They waited until my upkeep to attempt to kill my creature. A clear sign that they have more of this spell in their hand. <laughs> because they didn't mind me countering it. I'm going to Shredder Explosives. I don't care if it's in play now. I want to get the loot out. I want to discard this bad card. If I draw a land, I'll discard that one. Anoli Heat, mamma mia. Anoli Heat is so weak. So weak, this card. I'm so glad <laughs> to, to, to draw it now. The reason is, they just didn't print enough ways for you to be worried about playing snow basics if they did then you wouldn't play snow basics but they don't so you, you just free roll them hmm what do you want to do here top my land hmm interesting i think i want to dispute this uh, this is my first spell if i draw another spell i'm gonna loot Of course, having no consider means that it's a little bit less likely that I loot, but it's okay. This also was a trade. Opponent wanted to draw a card and we denied it. If they go for a cascade card, what do I do? Do I want to counter it or do I want to crack explosives? Hmm. Hmm, I think I want to crack the explosives. Oh, that's true. I forgot about it. They play two spell. Wow, so nice. Huh. Do I really want to fluster storm this or use my explosives? I think I'm gonna use my explosives here. I 
I'm using untapped for MTGO. Yes, because Carbo Live isn't really working right now. I hope it's back. I'm using untapped. Ooh, Mishra's Bubble. Hmm. I might hold it for when I draw another spell, but at the same time, I kind of just... Let's count the race here, because opponent goes to... Yeah, actually, I might be holding it. I don't think I need uh, to draw more spells. I already have the Shredder. Okay, I lose again. Hmm. I think I discard bubble so that I have a two turn clock here. This is a four. So when people ask me what should I discard, a spell or a land? Well, obviously it depends. You just have to think. Uh, every scenario is different. This is Magic the Gathering. So now this is a four, it's relevant. If opponent was on six, then I would have discarded the land. But yeah, discard both just can trip through my deck and killed my opponent. Which is I don't know. Let's compare it to some cards. Ragavan? I go to 10. Hmm. Another one card here could be Otawara. Hope they don't have it. Should have played Bubble first so that whenever they play a card, I would be cantripping. Please, no Otawara. Ah, oh, it's Otawara, va. Ganculo. It's always Otawara. I'm not even joking. It's always Otawara. It's okay, actually. No, it's fine today that I held the bubble. I was playing around Otawara, so. I do this on me. What's on top? Archmage Charm, okay. I'll draw it. They have three cards. They could have Fury now. They could have, worst case scenario is Charles Agent plus Mystical Dispute. Is that dragon? Thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome. Hope it's first of the many. Vendelion clique? What? When's the last time you've seen a Vendelion clique? Yeah, Shredder can nice before a spell resolves. That's true. Cascade card resolves, yes. Vendelion clique, what a card. It used to be it used to be just one of one of the best for real. This card used to cost I remember like thirty euro. But magic cards were so expensive back then. And the thirty euro back then for me were a lot. <laughs> but I remember buying this just buying cards. I guess you didn't have Twitter, so you weren't really complaining very much about prices of cards. Or at least I. 
Oh, que merda. It was not even that good of a card, and it was costing 30 euro. Are you dead, opponent? I hope you die. Eh? Why don't you just die? The of ice? What's that? Three? Endurance? No, 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 no. We can't. Should I fetch? Yeah, I think so. No, spet, 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 spet. Endurance is fine, chat. I think I'd rather, I'd rather play Otawara because Otawara is uncounterable. You paid sixty pounds for Goifs in England. I remember, I I bought a playset of Goy for three hundred at some point. They definitely dispute or something. Nah, why did you say definitely? What made you say that? They just drew this card now and played it. Don't be negative. Island. Otawara, after my opponent uh, managed to survive with Otawara, they're going to die to Otawara. You paid 60 euro each for Noble Hour. That's true. That's not a card that was so expensive. That's true. You traded a survival of the fittest for a goif? Oh no! <laughs> that was a. That was, that was, you know what that was, Krizoro? I'll tell you what that was. That was a bad deal. <laughs> Survival is what, like 200 each now? Yeah, six pound each. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know, I, I know. That was a bad deal. I mean... I have also a story of like trading cards. It's actually a very funny story. And while we're down in that path, I'll tell I'll tell you. So it was I don't know if you remember. Uh, extended was a format that was rotating every once in a while, and Ravnica rotated out of extended. So shocklands weren't legal in any formats because. In Legacy, they are obviously worse than the the dual lands, and in Extended, they just rotated out. So shock lands were literally unplayable. So shock lands were worth nothing. No decks could play Commander wasn't a thing. So either you played Legacy Extended or Standard, and shock lands weren't good in any of these formats. So what happened was I traded all my shock lands away for like standard cards. I got like a Grave Titan. I remember. A, uh, like nothing because the shotguns were like one euro two euros and then after the trade like one week later they made invented modern and shocklands all of a sudden went from literally zero to 20 euro each like hallowed fountain breeding pool and yeah and i gave all my shocklands away so i had to rebuy them and uh yeah thankfully then they had returned to ravnica so they were printed the shocklands but I lost, like, I don't know, probably just 100 euro or even more just with that deal, like, in a week, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I mean, I've also done good deals, of course, but the bad deals are just the funnier. Because nobody want to hear about a person bragging. Bragging is boring. Saying about the, the fun stuff, it's super cool. The, the, the bad deals are super cool. And that one is so like so it's so rare as well. Come on, where are my fucking lands today? Alright, let's mod again. Mulligan. Okay, keep iteration. Let's go. You have 32 maze mine tome waiting for spike. Maze mine tome, why? Uh, I remember once. Uh, ooh, I like Mobile Ear. Hmm, do I want to wait for a Shredder? Hmm. Nah, I think I have Explode. Hmm. Channeler. 
Mm. It would be a good last turn. I don't want to draw Chandler anymore. Kezoro, thank you for the gifted sub. How's it going? I remember once uh, I went to uh, Steve Rubin house, classic shuffle. Uh, I went to Steve Rubin house and he had cards all over the places. And I was like, all right, I'll help you. I'll help you sort them. Angry Sapo one. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome, welcome. Will common. Hmm, you want to ice my steam bands? Understandable. So I went to Steve Rubin house to like sort his cars because he literally had cars all over the house. It was a lot of cars around the house. And uh, I found like an insane amount of Ishkana, like the Graf Widow. Like, I don't know many, but a billion of Ishkana. And I was like, why do you have so many Ishkana? And he goes, oh, because I thought it was great, so I bought, like, I don't know, 100. And then I go, but why didn't you sell them? Like, Ishkana actually reached a pretty high price at the time. And, it and he goes like, oh, yeah, I should sell them. <laughs> so he had, like, this, I don't know, a billion Ishkana that was just almost rotating out. Like, he actually, you know... Standard cards used to be expensive, and if you got the, 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 the right cards to spike on, you could actually get a nice deal. The Yes, he then uh, quit magic to do the, um, the game uh, that you mentioned. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a good friend with him. Kredzoro, thank you for subbing to Coxito97. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I don't have lands. I need iteration to find lands. Nice. Hand, bottom, exile. Lots of subs today. Thank you, chat. Debbie! Hello. Third month for you. You got an espresso bag. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I could fetch end of turn, but then they open the window for the card that we don't want to open the window for. So let's leave the window closed. Actually, hmm, I don't know about that window. What's that? Endurance? Hmm, I have to counter. I have to counter endurance. Thank you, thank you, Debbie. The you know the friendship with Steve Rubin is nice. Uh, basically, it started with uh, so we teamed together for a PT, and then <laughs> so many subs today. Thank you, chat. Sebasan, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So we teamed together for a PT and we stayed together for a very long time because it was back when I went to the States for, you know, almost a month there. I played an SCG Invitational, a GP in Indianapolis and PT Madison. No, sorry, GP Madison and PT Wisconsin. PT? PT? Where was the PT? A, re a city near Madison, but anyway, an American city. We stayed together for three weeks, so it was nice. And then the PT after, we didn't team together. And the PT after that, we met in the final of the PT. Again, different teams. So that was nice. That was, uh, you know, very, very cool. And now, you know, he was in the pro train for a while, uh, uh, MPL and stuff, and then he went to do the... Um, I guess he wasn't in the MPL. No, he just went to do the, 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 the game that you mentioned earlier. Anyway, now, what do I want to do? Uh, I think I'm going to go Chalice... Uh, sorry, Explosives on zero. Hmm. Let's see what they do about this. Hmm. Okay. Explosives on, explode, um, is very similar to Urza Saga, in which game one, you're pretty cold to the rhinos, but post side you have the explosives, which makes it way more uh, manageable. Hmm. Unclear if... 
Mm. Okay. There isn't any stifle effect, so I'll just wait uh, the um, the combat phase. I certainly don't want to take eight damage, so I'll fire off the explosives now. Okay, they passed. That's very good news. Hmm. I want to go Ledger Shredder. I'm a little bit afraid of Endurance. Hmm. How about I go Land Go here? I'm a little bit afraid of Endurance. Yeah, I think I'll go Shock Land Go. To go Endurance, I just want to counter. If nothing happens, I'm happy to draw two cards with my charm. Hmm. If this is a violent outburst, I can flash the storm. Because the way it works is Flash of Storm has three copies now. This is why we play Flash of Storm in the sideboard and not extra spell peers. Because Flash of Storm is a one mana mana leak against crashing footfalls. Where are spell peers? It's a spell peers. <laughs> They're paying the copies. I guess they have nothing better to do. And this is some very often how the matchup works, in the sense that you lose game one, I mean obviously game one and Mali into four, so we'd have lost to anything. But post cyber you are a, a very much better deck. Okay, now I can draw two cards with Charm. The problem is that my opponent, I'll open the window for a uh, another Cascade. I think it's fine if I do that, because I'm still drawing two cards. Plus the one from turn. So it's only Outburst that punish me here. I'm okay in playing around Outburst. Oh, Mystical Dispute? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't think about that one. Maybe this hurts. Maybe I could have played around it. Okay. Do I want to go Shredder Iteration here? I I will, yes. I can also go Shredder Shredder. Hmm, is that better? Maybe. No, then I'm gonna let's play Shredder plus Iteration. Yeah, I think, I mean, if I draw land, I'll discard the land. What's this? Oh, uh, Petty Theft, okay. That's fine. Yep. I'll draw on this card. Anoli Heat, huh. I think I wanna discard Spell Piers. I still have to make a land drop here. If I find a land, unlucky. Um, mm -mm. I think I want to put Charm in my hand. Hand, bottom, exile, and pass. If I exile Flash Storm, I could have countered a Fire Ice end of turn, but I just want to have Flash Storm in my deck, I think. Okay, the three cards, they have a Brazen Borrower to play. Mishra's Bubble, that's cool. I can go for Shredder again, and then I'll go for Mishra's Bubble to loot. I have a 2-4, so that this Brazen Borrower gets stopped by my 2-4. Ooh, looks like they're... What? Dispute? Wild, I'm paying. Then I play Bubble and trigger the Shredder. Such a good combo. Uh, I think I discard Anoli Heat just because I want to have a 2-4. Play a land and pass. If they play Brazen Bar or Loot. Hmm. Maybe I was not supposed to discard that. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe that's a mistake. I should have discarded a land. Because my opponent's playing Brazen Bar now and I loot again. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's okay, it didn't matter. It didn't really matter. 
Let's see your top card. What is it? Hope it's not like a skate card. It's a skull in Tarn. Tuk Tatua. Go ahead. How did Vivian that go yesterday? We five? Oh, ooh, ooh. the video is going to be up on the channel, I think, next Monday. Yeah. Five mana? Oh, no, it's a fury. I guess I didn't think about it. Hmm. Should I thought about it? Probably. What do, what do I discard? Ledger Shredder? Maybe. Yeah, why not? Okay, now things can get a little bit hard because I discarded two Anoli Heat. This one is exiled. And I side out. Oh, that's large. All right. Um, I can go Regent, hold up, Charm. I don't think it's a bad play. That's true, Dr. Trunks. You're, you have a good suggestion. I should have crap probably my turn. Okay, so here. I have to go Regent. I lose it to Otawara. I hope they don't have it. I think I'm gonna go uh, Bubble just because uh, I'll Bubble me and then I'll go Merc Tide and pass. I want to Bubble me. Doesn't matter to bubble them. Ragaban. Hmm. Do I want to get to 7-7? Seven, seven? No, let's just, let's just go for an 8-8. Eight, eight. I think I have enough spells in my de in my graveyard. And I pass. If I want to check the deck list, you can go to my Twitter. Unfortunately, not much is working right now. Okay, I draw the Ragavan. I have an 8 hit with one counter backup. They have two cards. Otawara breaks me. Other than that, if they have like gone to bounce the Regent, we have Charm. No, don't have Otawara, please. Don't. Charles Agent. Okay. That's a third Footfalls. Oh wow, they have Archmage Charm in their four Stomping Ground deck. Allora, I could uh, counter Footfalls. I could steal a Rhino. I could draw two cards. I think among all the options, drawing two cards is the one that likes me. I like the most. Especially since I'm afraid of that gone right now. So I'll draw two cards end of turn. So like worst case scenario, they have that gone at that time. They have one card in the end. I hope it's not a counter spell. Draw. Let's go Shredder. Let's go Ragaban. Loot. Discard. What? Let's go Dispute. Am I dead on board? Block, block, block. Madonna mia, almost. Almost dead on board. I didn't draw very well in these, uh, <laughs> like, five cards. Still have three iteration in the deck. Only only one work that left, unfortunately. I only play two this time. Maybe it's a mistake. I think I should have discarded a, maybe Shredder to Fury. But the problem of doing that is if my opponent has another way to answer with my Shredder, I just discarded a second Shredder. Although Fury is... It was very possible that they had it in the end on turn 10 of the game. Okay, they, it looks like they go to combat here. And if they attack, we go, wow, they don't attack? But Lali, let's untap. Draw. Anoli Heat. That is good. Allora, I have eight damage in the air. That's not enough. But I can get super crazy in attacking with Merc Tide. No, that's too crazy. They just chump with Borrower. 
and then I unholy hit the fewer. No, 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 stun Bonnie, stun Bonnie, chat. Let's not move. Let's not move. Let's let's not move. I am not in a good, sh in that good of a shape to start moving. Hmm. Oh wow, endurance. That makes my Merktide Regent huge. Huge. Like incredibly large. So I can let the endurance resolve and then annually heat it. Eh? I mean, I can't counter it, so this has to resolve. Let's do uh, endurance resolves. Let's see who do you target. Maybe you target yourself. Oh yeah, they do. Okay then, you can go ahead. They have one card left. They have two cards. Man, this this games have been super long. It's only round two, and I've played an hour and a half. <laughs> Die! Stop! Stop! Opponent! Stop! Don't fire ice. What's this? Is this fury? No, no, Tawara. Eh? No, dai. No, I'm a puttana madosca. Ma che cazzo? Eh, lost. No bad. GG. Brilliant. I lost with a war. It's just this card keeps on winning games. Keeps on winning games. It's pretty impressive. Why don't they attack me? Okay. That's weird. Why don't you attack me? What are you afraid of? Three removal spells? Wow. Uh, bullets are rolling my cyber, right? Yeah. Allora, let's go. Anoli heat here. It's so crazy that I... No, 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 no! I have to hold priority! And yeah, the chap, I didn't hold priority. I was supposed to spell pierce it, but... I didn't hold priority. But I'm not dead somehow, so... Let's keep on going. <sighs> Why didn't they attack with endurance? I bet. Namo! Draw, spell. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go uh, for a murky boy. Five, I lose delirium, but whatever. I don't need delirium. Then I go Ragaban, loot. Cazzo. Explosives. <laughs> they just didn't attack and I win. And I probably win this game now. Uh... Pass. What were they like? Did they play fine this match? Why did they not attack? Like even if I had two removal spells, it's like you're on thirteen. What do you what do you risk? I shall god draw. Well, sure, that's true. It's a good draw. 
I have 25 cards left in my deck, and I don't know. Most of, most of them, I think, are good draws now. I have iterations to draw. I have uh, the uh, Archmage Charm to draw. I think I still have two. Oh, no, only one. All right, I guess I didn't have that many draws then. But, I mean, just looting every turn since, I don't know, for a very long time definitely helps. Okay, so the top five, they play Fury. I, if I Mystical Dispute, I survive, right? Block, Chomp, yeah. Is there a world in where my opponent has... Aspetta un attimo, come fa cancel? Is there a world in which my opponent has a... Dispute, and if this resolves, I lose the game? Eh? Maybe I should just let this resolve. Because if I dispute and they have a dispute, I just lose the game. I can't afford to lose the game. Yeah, Fury kills Monkey. I'm upset that I discarded a Monkey. I actually thought a lot about it. And I was like, probably Ragavan is never dying, so I don't need a third one. But I definitely did. Uh, I don't need to... Or I guess I need to crack the explosives now. Okay, I go. They have one card. Draw. Pass. My dispute play for. But Otawara is gone. I'm so safe now, I think. Like, in the sense that I'm not dead to a card I can't counter. I pass here on a uh, wait on the bubble. Where do I live in Italy? It's on the Adriatic coast. The city is called the Senigallia. It's a very beautiful town. A summer town. I have to go to the bathroom so badly. Please, opponent, let's finish this game. What have we drawn? Petty theft. I got dispute and spell pierces, so I'll loot. I'm glad I did. I don't have Ragavan. <laughs> Could have discarded Bubble so that I put a counter and I just cycled the Fiery Islet so it's the same. Maybe. I didn't even think about it. Do you get many tourists in your town? Very much. Yeah. It's a touristic city. Okay, good. Mm. Actually, not as good this card because it has to jump attack into endurance. Do I still want to do it? Probably not. But I think I need to go bubble now. Plus, if I'm putting a place a spell that I have to counter, I'll loot. What's on the top of your deck? A land. Cool. Still pass. I, uh, I have to counter spell. 
I have to hope it's not a force of negation. First, I can eat with their two cards. And then I can eat with my two cards. That's pretty cool. They have one card. Nice. It's not a force of negation. That's cool. This is the fifth Crashing Footfalls they played. Because they put the cards on the bottom with Endurance. It's, it's, it's good that I bubbled there because of the counter spell made me loot. So I got rid of my channelers. Is this game 3? Yes, you can check it on here, what game it is. Okay, they have two cards and they pass. Draw. Oh ho 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 ho. Bello. Alright, let's start with Merc. Can I grow Merc Tide to a 13? I can't. Oh come on, where are my spells? It's okay. I can go Ledger Shredder, Merc that Regent. They can dispute. I guess they. Uh, yeah. They can dispute this. It's okay if it happens. I think I don't mind losing Delirium. I have double loot. They can dispute the Merc Tide, it's going to be fine. They pay three. Oh, they play out Burst in response. Okay. But I loot uh, twice with their footfalls. Merda vaca, am I decking myself? I'm not dead on board because I have the blockers. This is a 3-3. Do I want to keep a Chandler or an Archmage's Charm? Because Archmage's Charm can't attack, but it can block. No, I think I don't want to. I should have probably... No, it's okay. I, uh, I pass. I'm dead to anything. I'm dead to a removal spell, a fire ice, anything. I could have played the channeler instead of the charm, but I think that way I might not die if they have a removal spell, but I die. I might die in the long in the long in the long run. So I'm dead to fire ice, dead gone, brazen borrower. Bozeju, that's unexpected. Wow, look at this play that my opponent made for literally no sense. Now I'm able to get Basic Island and steal a Rhino. That I wouldn't otherwise be able to. Madonna mia. Unbelievable that they played Bozeju there. Literally unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, this game is taxing for both of us. We have the timer issue. I have to go to the bathroom for like 20 minutes. They said GG, nice play. GG, yeah, this was a nice play for sure. The Shredders. All right, chat, I have to run to the bathroom, be back in a minute, don't go anywhere. Madonna mia. Ah. Oh.
Okay. This league is going to be long. Long, long, long. All right, let's go. Round number three. If you wanna find the deck list, you can find it on Twitter. If you don't have Twitter, you can make Twitter. This isn't super clunky, or am I consider? For Ledger Shredder? Yeah, for Ledger Shredder. Good card. Okay, Mulligan to six cards. Do we cut consider for shredder? No, not that, not that cleanly, but yeah, overall, those were the big changes. Buongiorno, Rob. Very scary card. Shredder, very good against Hammer, of course. Unfortunately, this time we don't open with uh, Mishra's bubble, unlike the other times. See what they get. Wow, you got Kyra complete? Weird. Okay. I can go and bottom exile and I'll pass the turn when I receive a complete on the chin but I have Archimate Charm to steal the token is Jace a must? no, it's definitely not a must by any meanings Jace is a must hmm Okay. Hmm. So to chum block the stone forge. I think I'm gonna get lands. Yeah. Now I have to think about how to uh, loot so that I get delirium soon. So I'm gonna put creatures in my graveyard. 
I mean, in theory, I should discard Island. I wish I had an uh, an only hitting end now. I also wanted the fifth land next turn to cast these five cards, these three cards. I don't want to discard Merktide Regent, although it looks like the worst card in my hand right now. It's okay, I think I'm discarding Island right now. I needed the fifth land. I still don't have Delirium, but uh, I will loot a, at least once next turn. So I have to chum block this. Of course, Shadow Spear beats me. GG if they have it. You could discard the Islet. There is a world in which I draw another red card and I cast the uh, Bolt, Anoli Heat, Anoli Heat, Merc that Regent. What's the next deck in modern for me? I don't think it exists. Every deck has bad matchups. There isn't the best deck. You could say the disease, but it loses to four color and blue eye control, and it doesn't have a big match, a big edge against other decks either. So. I mean, four color is pretty clunky. I. Oh, they go color complete. That's okay. Oh, you put it on the. Do I have any outs to this? Otawara. Can I find it in time? I can't. No, no borrower. Otawara, but I can't find it in time. It costs four. <laughs> Sweet play by my opponent. I don't think I can dig for Otawara. 16, I could have a large regent. I could have a regent that's seven più seven, quattordici, maybe, 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 maybe there is a world. Okay, let's begin with an um, iteration, an only heat here and mark the regent. And bottom exile. I go bolt here, double loot, get rid of Ragaban and uh, Ragaban. And then I play Merc. Set più sette quattordici. I'm not dead, but I am so dead. Igor, you can go to YouTube and type Death and Taxes Andrea Mengucci Channel Farble. And you'll find the, all the years and years and years of content that I made for Channel Fireball. You love the emote Pepango? It's a very good emote. Are you happy with our concealer? This is just my third game. If I draw Otawara now... I still lose. <laughs> okay, good game. Very similar sideboarding to Affinity. Let's 
someone could say the sideboard was tailored for this matchup. You think the split is 3-3 three, three Shredder Merc? I think Ledger Shredder is very, very powerful. And you should play for. No Blood Moon. I prefer Archmage Charm over Blood Moon. I like for Ragavan here. Yes, always. On the play and on the draw. And I'll repeat in case you weren't here before. But you can't have Blood Moon and Archmage Charm in the same deck. If you do, you're making a mistake. The only exception is very rare that's an exception. Exception. Of course, in Magic, there is no like hard rules, but that one is kind of an hard rule. All right, this end is super weak, but I have to keep it. Split this for Shredder for Merc. Well, you see, I mean, obviously, it's a small sample size, blah, blah, blah. But what's the weakest card of my hand right now? Or the weakest spell of my hand right now? If I had Ledger Shredder, I would have been so happy. If I have Merc that Regent, imagine if you have two Regents. Like, I, mean, I can't consider, so of course Merc that Regent is weaker, is weaker in, this, in, this, in this deck. But imagine if they go Sentinel, you go Shredder. Ah, feels so good. Instead, no, you don't, you, don't, you, you can't. I have to change the name to the deck to Blue Red Shredder? Yes, I already did. The stream is called the Blue Red Shredder today. Eh. That's fine. This matchup has always been kind of tough. I mean, my opponent played very well game one, I think. You want to arc me, Chum the Sentinel? Huh. Hmm. Could happen. Could happen. Could happen. It could happen. I'm gonna charm the sentinel. Ah, you know what? I like this idea. Gives them a card, but um, now they also have to pay for their cards. And I don't. I didn't draw one of my removal spells, so I think I have to do this. Hey, I'm dead if they have two hammers. Even the hammer plus stone forge minute, it's fine. I, I'll die. I mean. All right, GG. Yeah, it's good that hammer is still a good deck. I mean, it used to be one of the best decks in um, in modern, and now they're bandlers, and he doesn't see as much play anymore. But um, it's still a good deck. That's why modern is just the best format by a pretty wide margin. There's no top decks, best decks, and all the decks are just fun to play against. I mean, game one was fun. This game wasn't, but because I didn't draw, I didn't draw interaction. So of course you lose if you don't draw interaction. I'm only to six and kept a mediocre hand, but I can't. I can't go to five. All right, let's go. I still, this card has performed pretty badly so far. Uh, I guess I was expecting way more mirrors. Expedition map. Cool. <laughs> Another matchup where the unlicensed hearse will suck. Oh, I'm a little bigger. Okay. Land, please. But not the worst. He 
because I can go shredder bubble si ma puttana eva dammi le terre mazzo cazzo Vesuva, ok. Oh, I shot the three. Nerd? Knee Reaper. You defeated me and then you subbed for the fourth month. That's, uh, that's nice. Good, good games. Thank you for the games. I have been uh, very much defeated. Ok, I drew a land. That's good news. Let's compare this and Merc Tide again. If this card was Merc Tide in my hand, GG, game over. I lose the game. Think about these things. Don't always think about when you draw Ledger Shredder in the mid game and it's not a Merc Tide. Again, with this build, without consider, all, all, all these things considered. Okay, see me go chamber. Yesterday I played Popper, I played Rack the uh, Gru Sacrifice, see, Gru Ponza, and I was just blowing up all these lands. Not today, though. I wonder if I should uh, steal the Amulet of Vigor. It's possible. You tutor for... I'm sure that you're gonna tutor for Coven of Sauce here. Okay, they did. So for now I pass, because if they play Cavern, okay, okay, I steal Amulet, but if they don't play Cavern and play another land, they can counter the play they make. Hmm. So they're passing the turn here. I think I want to draw two cards. Our Bora Grazer, <laughs> it's staying there, don't worry. Pass. Pun is on 10, potentially on 4. Coven of Souls. Neeming Beast. I think it's about time. That we shoot. Attack, attack. <laughs> if you're watching this game with critical thinking, you will evaluate that we won this game because of the card Ledger Shredder. We didn't have a second land. We missed a second land drop. 
I cast Ledger Shredder, Mishra's Bubble on turn two. I got lands with Ledger Shredder because I looted twice with it, got my lands and played Magic. Merc died, not only I wouldn't be able to cast it, I would have just not played a creature that dealt, I don't know, nine, seven damage in this game and just straight up won the game. Sure, sure, Ragavan won, uh, don't play Conceder and everything like that. You can argue as much as you want, but it's. I think it's pretty clear that this card is here to stay. Uh, first I thought it was bad, but I think this because my list was bad, I had four Regent and things like that. The Collective Hive Mind of Modern will find a good list of Ledger Shredder soon. Maybe it's this, maybe that's Consider and 18 lands, like, probably doesn't have this, but overall... You can argue Ragavan has one as well. Well, no one is arguing that Ragavan didn't. Uh, no one is arguing that Ragavan didn't uh, win the game, of course. Obviously, you play for Ragavan. Like, what do you want to do? It's banned. It's literally banned in Legacy. Like, you don't want to play Modern? Okay, so subtlety is the, the reason why we have uh, subtleties for the Cavern of Souls Amulet Titan. Uh, I think I like Blood Moon, and for sure I like Dress Downs. Again, this is the only case where I'm okay in having Charm plus Blood Moon. So, uh, game one, Ragavan is very good against Amulet, because you have Bolt to kill the Arbora Grazer. But if post side, I am taking out the some copies of Lightning Bolts. I think I'm finding taking out some copies of Ragavan as well, at least one. You want a Kadargrans right channeler? No, you can't play four Regent with zero channeler. I think once you, once I realized. That couple of nights ago that consider could be cut uh, and I could build the deck around that I'm very I'm very much happier Chandler is bad against endurance that's true you want to take out Merc Tide sometimes I mean again maybe this with this configuration it's harder to make a big Merc Tide but sometimes if you make a 6-6 six, six Merc Tide and they don't have amulet with Titan, they just have to trade. Need to get some sleep. Hello, it's Ginger. I'll be back next next week. Have a good night. How has hers been? I, I sideboarded out every matchup. Pretty unfortunate. It wasn't a good call to put in main deck. I mean, this is why you have sideboard. You put the, the 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 the. You put the, um, how do you call them? Uh, neat, no, neat. Um, fringe card in the sideboard. Yeah. And you side it in. Niche. Yeah, that's the word I was thinking of. Niche, niche. It seems tough to crew. I wouldn't say so. My opponent Mulligan 2 5, that's a good news. You need to leave by the beat. Shredder? Oh, Primeval Titan. Okay. And I'll play a Dragon's Rage Channeler followed by Mishra's Bubble. 
No, I t I kept the charm. Yes, I kept the charm. Because I think that in this matchup, this is a matchup where they can't really beat uh, uh, the Blood Moon. So they have to kill it if they want to. They have to Bozeju it or whatever if they want to win. That will unlock the Archmage Char. But against Summertime, for example, they don't need to kill Blood Moon. So you might find yourself in a spot where you have both Charm and Blood Moon in the end and it's impossible to, to cast. Okay, they have two cards in it, one of which is a Boseju, and they pass. Remember, they might get to five this game. It's almost impossible to go Delirium against a, um, a Relic without Considers, so I'm just attacking simply. And uh, I just play a land and pass the turn. I don't, I don't have to cast uh, uh, Expressive Iteration. I'll use Charm to draw two cards. That's the very nice thing about Charm, is that... Um, when the game goes low, like this, it's just so nice. Because you hold up counter, if nothing happened, you draw two cards. What does Amulet do? With the Titan. Uh, a Primal Titan is a combo card, Eric. If you've never seen the Amulet deck, I have made a video with it on, the, on my channel, on the YouTube channel. It's a, it's a very fun deck to play, Amulet. Very draining as well. I always get headache whenever I play that deck. You want to gain control of the Amulet? Mm, no, I don't think it's reasonable. No. I remember when I was playing the Amulet deck, I played against three Merktide, and they did this play all the time, and it was just not good, I think. I'd rather just draw two cards, for, for, for real. You draw two cards, and you just find cards. Yeah, I mean, they have two cards. They have to be exact. Ooh, Lightning Bolt. <laughs> I think I don't mind keeping it. They have to be exactly on top land and, and titan. Ooh, Shredder. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Now, I can go Delirium. I think I will. Unless I draw a counterspell. Let's see what I draw. Mm. Subtlety. Very good draw. Babina. Let's go Mer um, Shredder. I want to go Bolt Face. Yes, I want to keep the blue card. For, uh, so I go bolt face. I loot a. I think. I think I loot an only eat in the graveyard. It also shredder. And then I am delirious with this called in tarn. And this might make my opponent crack the the relic. If it doesn't. You take five. Oh, I'll take the island. There's still a blood moon in my deck. <laughs> Azusa, okay. This thing. Uh, it just MTG bot gave me this thing up here. I don't exactly know how to do it. I'm sorry. Murktide would be uncastable this game. Hey, I don't know. This turn, I think I could have casted it. Mm, let's try to get the Lyrim again. I mean, this game opponent didn't do anything. It happens. That deck is obviously unstable. Mulligan to five and things like that. Okay, I'll go. Hand, bottom, exile. I'll play land. I'll play blood moon. Two 
to loot I'm thinking about how to get delirium. I think if I discard this, I get delirium and kill my opponent. Surveil. Talk for eight. And then kill you. I'll make them top two for and for Bezeju and then a Bolton. So that if they have anything I spell I mean whatever at this point. Doesn't matter. Okay, three one. Let's finish the league. Vamos. Whatever and snow lands for the very rare case in which you steal a snow card with Ragavan. Every Ragavan deck should play snow lands. It's fine if you own pretty beta basics and don't play snow lands. Okay. This end is very creature heavy. Let's see if they have prismatic ending. Esper Sentinel. That's good. Thank God it won't die roll. But again, since I have the shredders, I have less interest in the Esper Sentinel. You know, without consider, you have less spells to pay for Esper Sentinel and so on and so forth. You don't know if you should buy Ledger Shredder now or wait. So magic cards don't really lower in price anymore. Magic cards only go up and then plateau. In paper. Online it's volatile, but in paper it just it doesn't happen. Cards go up and they never go down. Uh I think I discard counter spell. I play four. The only way a car can go down is by reprinting, which obviously clearly doesn't happen anytime soon. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, Bubble first and Aspetta. Uh, yeah, Iteration first. I'm explaining why, I guess. Um, now eventually. Uh, do I do? Do I want the land here? No, I think I prefer having a, a spell. Hand. Bottom. Exile. Play this on top. Channeler. Loot. Hmm. It's bad to discard a land because I wanted to attack with my Shredder. So I wanted to pump it a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'm discarding Shredder. It's it's a bad card here, this Barbed of Canal, I know. Uh, okay, top. But I, I might... Uh, I might need that land. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I was supposed to draw it now. Because if I put in place to spell, I loot, I want to have Bolt in my hand.
Okay, so they have Stoneforge Mystic. They have Colossus Hammer. Yeah, I loot, but oh, cool though. Could have had an extra card. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's impossible to race because my opponent will have a Shadow Spear next turn. Maybe I can double block it. This league is too long. Time to do some aggressive concessions to shorten it. If it was round one or two, I would have kept fighting, but round five, I'm not up for the fight anymore. This neck needs a belt down. Meltdown. I mean, you could play a braid or brazen borrower. Those are cards that saw play in the uh, Hammer Time days because Merktide had a tough time against the Resolved Colossus Hammer. My main deck, in fact, doesn't have any ways to deal with the Colossus Hammer unless you don't, don't know the rules of magic and you want to steal a Colossus Hammer owning the control of it in your battlefield. <laughs> so I guess in paper, you could try and steal Colossus Hammer. Online, unfortunately, that play doesn't work. Uh, weak and again lacking our uh, consider. I'll keep it. I'll start with the turn one engineered explosives. It's a play that I am uh, for sure regretting later in this game. But for now, I think I have dressed down for the zero drops and uh, that's for the S percentile on turn one that my opponent is about to drop. Um, Belmuth died. Wish I could play literally six Ledger Shredder. Literally six Ledger Shredder. If it was legal, I would probably play six. All right, let's hope they don't have still appears for my iteration here. Wow, pure steel paladin like that? No way. <laughs> yeah, fuck, cool. All right. Come on, Mango, where are the removals? The combo Ragavan engineered on one. They're probably going to have like, I don't know, two armor, shadow spear. Or just one. 
They don't have art. They don't have artifacts right now. Wish I had a red card. I could try and get lucky and go charm draw two cards. Not see me if they take if they take it. You hate explosives? In this league explosives has been outstanding. Outstanding. Played against Affinity, Rhinos, and and two armor. <laughs> if I could add two four explosives, I would love it. They have four cards in end. I'll go charm, draw two cards if they do nothing here. Lightning Bolt. Hmm. I could go Bolt. Merc Tide. I think it's a good play. Or I can go Bolt Go. Nah. I think that's a bad play. Let's see what they take with uh, uh, with Saga. Shadow Spear, okay. Second pass. If they attack me back, I take three, end of turn, draw two cards. The reality chip. Chip, chip, chip. Ledger Shredder. Oh, attack and pass. Now I have the Merc died, so I I played the game of Merc died. I don't need to.
two cards in it, I know nothing about it. One card in it only. <sighs> they keep the reality chip, okay, sure. Dash Ragaban Attack for seven Can't steal the Nexus. Point and steal alive. Ah, 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 steal alive, steal alive. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, no more alive. All right, final game of this league, finally. The winner will get five treasure chests, the loser will get nothing, will go back home with their entry fee. Pretty high stakes, if you ask me. Oh, I man, I feel like I never draw my removal spells. And some people even play seven. Just imagine playing seven removals. All right, keep. Let's go. Oh, na bellas per sentinel. Mwah. Well, mana Mishra's bubble. They finally balanced Mishra's bubble chat. They finally balanced the Mishra's bubble. They nerfed it. Well, favor, senor, give me a removal spell. I'm not asking for that much. It's just I'm playing an easy deck. I need your removal spells. Die. Te prego. Please. No, they don't cast Giver of Runes. That's a disaster. It means that they have blacksmith skill. Actually, it's not that disaster. I don't have a removal spell, so. It's not a disaster at all, considering that you don't have a removal spell. To, pita questo. Go. Just imagine if I had a Merc that regent. Give her a bruise, they have one card in hand, and it should be the blacksmith skill. Wait. That's so random that they played Spring of Drum. Alright, chats, we are in this, cat, so we are in this. Allora. We are in this. They have no cards in hand. I have a bird. And the bird. I want to go Channeler, and I want to go Anuli Heat on the Paladin. Tri three trigger on the stack. 
pay the tax, surveil to the graveyard, le basta terre, loot, uh, pff, this, pass. And I exile the land. Go. They have no cards in hand. And they pass. No, what do you have? Paladin. Porca merda! Okay. Draw. Here I have to steal the giver of runes. A pass, because I can also. Like, steal the Giver of Runes and then only heat if they draw. If they draw a um, hammer. I win? What? It's so early. You win. I wish. I wish. You can see the opponent? The chat said I won. Okay, they passed the turn. Cool. Now I can go Charm on the Giver of Runes. Gain control. And I'll pay the tax. You exile all my graveyards. Adios. Might have waited for the surveil one, but that's okay. You speak with your ends often, Andrea. Yes, it's in the Italian genes. It's not in the genes. The genes? Do you pronounce it differently? Jeans. The J and the G are pronounced the same, right? Anyway, land and bolt. Mm, I was going to literally bottom anything, but I guess I'm gonna hold the bolt here. And then we have a taxpayers. We we pay taxes in the stream. And I would like to take control of the giver of runes. Uh, aspetta un attimo, because I might want to kill a bunch of things, ma, not even honestly. I'll just play a land and give it back to you, opponent. You can take it. You can take the turn, do the worst. I'll only draw two cards with this charm and pay the tax. Allora, let's begin. Draw those cards. Me. On the trois. Pay the tax. Iteration. Thank you, thank you. I'll keep it. Thank you. Taxpayers. Then I shock your Esper Sentinella. And I loot. I loot. This card, Mishra's Bubble. Surveil. Land. To the graveyard we go. Opponent, give it back. To me. Toon, 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 toon. Toon, 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 toon. Lands. You go away. My favorite bird, Ledger Shredder. Adios, Dragons Ray Channeler. And it's time to attack! Sveta, do I attack with all these people? I'm gonna see, die. What's the worst that can happen? At the, in the middle of game, Sedge, there's a way you can fix the advertisement in the middle of the game. You can subscribe to do do do. Stoneforge Mystic. Mm. Okay, I'll allow it.
sort of paradise. Okay, first I want to give it a nice little loot. I should definitely pay attention on which one is growing, but okay. Then I would like to annually heat this guy. I guess I should have fetched first. No, I'm gonna buy surveil. Better map. Dead. Sort of fire nice resolves. The bird. Okay, let's count the damage shaft. No, no, this is fine. Va bene, va bene, vai, vai. Vamos, how much damage it is? Sette, otto, nove. Mm. Draw spell. E raga ba ba ba. E ba ba ba. Ra ra ra. Raga ban. Bolt. To the face. Trigger. 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 We'll leave it on top. Just to mill it. And attack for a lot of damage. <laughs> Five chesties. All right. Uh, well, good performance. I would maybe the only thing that I would change is catching an unlicensed hearse. But I don't really know what to.